down in the Mississippi. And for generations and generations, it went up and down the Mississippi. And kids and old people alike loved Proud Mary. So every time she would go down the river, they'd all gather out on the dock of the bay. And they sort of help her along. And they sing a song. And they sort of clap to the rhythm of the paddles. Now I want to hear everybody sing and help Proud Mary down the river. I want you to close your eyes and pretend Proud Mary is going through here tonight. And we got to help her down the river. Let me hear everybody sing it. Come on. Rolling, sing. Rolling. Rolling down the river. Everybody singing. Now rolling. Come on. Rolling, sing it all down. Rolling down the river. People were clapping and seeing old Proud Mary would sort of raise her decks out the water. And the smoke would get a little blacker. But she seemed to get a little faster. So let's sort of forget this too and forth. Get a little gospel. Speed it up. Come on. Go ahead now. Give me some horn. Take me home. Come on. Keep it down. Go ahead. Rolling. I you did also? I you had to hold him down, Wayne. Oh. You make the man from Glad look like a religious fanatic. 
I never saw anything like that in my life. And it just reminded me I have to do that commercial in a minute. Well, hiya, Wayne. Beautiful. Oh, fine. That's, and what a... And as usual, you got a good crowd, as usual. Yeah, it'd be nice. Well, the price is right, you know. <laughs> you always get some soul folks in here. Yeah. Can you tell that when you come out? Oh, yeah, she can tell. I think we get some soul food in here, because I hear her stomachs rumbling around during my show. <laughs> How many are soul folks? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Easy, Miss Miller. We'll be, Hold we'll it down. Be good ones, so we don't worry about the rest of it. Yeah, yeah. Where you been? I said the international. All over. We've been international. Uh, you want to breathe in a few minutes? No, it's not. I'll say Can you do it in rhythm? Yeah. We were at uh, Flamingo for uh, four or five weeks, and then a good friend of mine uh, just opened the international. Have we ever heard of him or not? And we went over to him. Who, that little kid that sings Hound Dog? Yeah. Elvis. Oh, boy. Presley. He's doing great. Ooh, he's doing out of sight. Jammed? Are they jammed into seeing him? They're averaging like uh, 3,600 to 4,000 people a night. And are the, are the people still going crazy over him? As much as ever. It's a gas, because Elvis is the reason I started in the business a long time ago. I learned to play guitar because I wanted to be Elvis Presley. Yeah. And uh, I got to meet him, I guess, about a year and a half ago. I met him the first time. But you've never seen this actually happen, you know. Well, what's he like? Because I've never, met, I've never seen him in person. Huh? Very beautiful. I told him once, after I'd known him a while, if you, if you really love somebody entertainment and you really dig them, he is exactly what you would want him to be. I mean, is he a, a nice kid? Very. I, I Does see. he talk and everything? He's like one of the most friendly, most humble cats you ever know. Really? Yes, he's outside. Uh, no, no, does he, uh, do they still have to guard him? I mean, do the audiences still go that crazy? <laughs> yes, again. Huh? They have 12 security guards walking to work every night. <laughs> and sometimes he don't hardly make it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. He says he's been one. He's, he brings down two or three suits because he never knows how many he'll go through before he gets on stage. And he really gets out and, and, and works. He has a good time. He hadn't worked in nine years. And it's like, uh, he's really having a blast himself. He's really loving it. He makes what is uh, called money, doesn't he? He makes a little bit, eh? He was out of work nine years, so they got together and gave him a job. I felt sorry for him. They gave him a half a million dollars a month, plus Aww. points in the hotel. Yeah. Does he save his money? I have no idea. Does he like your clothes? I just designed him a suit. It's very similar to this, only it's, uh, it's all black. And it has a Persian lamb collar and lapels. Yeah. And a Persian lamb trim vest. Does he wear it? Yeah. Yeah? He's a little slimmer. He looks a little better. Where's your home? Wayne. Georgia. What part? Uh, a little town right, out, right outside of Macon, Georgia, called Thomaston, Georgia. I was raised with Otis Redding down there, stomping in it. That's yeah. I can dig it. Well, what kind of jobs did you... I mean, you always didn't look like this. <laughs> no, I don't mean that. Don't laugh. laugh. That's right. No, I... I've... <laughs> no, I didn't always look like this. I used to look worse. Nah. <laughs> but I mean, suddenly one, one day you said, this is my bag, and you, and you did something to your hair. No, I... Uh, I left on the road and traveled a while, and we put the CC Riders together. And I saw two... Oh, actors. Yeah, great man. They, good mm. guys. They work hard. I saw two albinos in Louisiana. You know, they had real white hair. Yeah. And they just combed it like regular hair. And every time the lights changed, your hair would be, like, be beautiful. I said, they got a million bucks, and they don't even know it. So I went to a beauty shop and had my hair bleached. Yeah, but if you're albino, don't you have pink eyes or something? Yeah, that don't matter. You can't see them on the lights anyhow. Ah. <laughs> but, uh... Is it hard to go home again? Do you still have family there? I've only been home, uh, we work 52 weeks a year. I've been home, we've had uh, two, two weeks off in the last six years. Mm. Well, it's true. I saw this cat, he likes me to say that, in Boston <laughs> when Tony took me over that night. And now there were people, I, not, not uh, wild kids. These were, uh, I thought they were kind of square looking uh, audience. By the time he finished, they were lying on the floor at his feet, and they were going... That means like... Which I never knew what that meant. What does that mean? Well, it's just, you know, doing your thing. 